This section contains two paragraphs. The first paragraph contains three questions and the second paragraph contains two questions. Each question in the paragraph has four options out of which one or more than one may be correct. So let's start with the first paragraph for question number 31 to 33. Two or more forms the same element that contain equal number of protons but different number of neutrons in their nuclei are called as isotopes. Physical properties are different in different isotopes. So it is given to us that hydrogen exists in the three forms which are H, D and T out of which only the tritium is radioactive. So it is given to us further that oxygen exists in O16, 17, 18 and other radioactive form. The examiner is also mentioned to us that we have to assume all O16, O17 and O18 are non-radioactive. So, in question number 31, some orders have been given to us and out of these given orders, we have to select the incorrect ones. If you look at the first option now, the examiner seems to be interested in the melting point, the melting point of H2, D2, T2. Do not follow this order. It is the reverse order. The melting point of T2 is more than D2, which is more than H2. If you look at the boiling point now, he has also given an incorrect order for the boiling point as well. It follows the same order as the melting point. If you look at the C option now, so heat of dissociation at 298.2 Kelvin. So this option is correct students. We know that generally the heavier isotopes, they form stronger bonds. And as such, the heat of dissociation shall be greater for the heavier isotopes. So C is correct. If you look at D, percentage of ortho form at 0 Kelvin, D2 is less than H2. So if we talk about the ortho form at 0 Kelvin in H2, the ortho form is 0 at 0 Kelvin. That is, it is 100% para. Whereas, if you talk about D2, the ortho form of D2 is 100% at 0 Kelvin. So, if we look at this option, this option is also incorrect, students. So, for this question, we have to select the incorrect orders and we have to mark option A, B, and D as the correct answer to this question. Let us look at the next question now. Question number 32. We have to select the correct statements out of the one given. So statement A, it says it is never possible to obtain a sample containing more than 75% of ortho hydrogen at 300 Kelvin. So this statement is correct students. It is a fact based question and it is impossible for us to have a mixture which contains more than 75% of ortho hydrogen at 300 Kelvin. So this is correct. If you look at the B option now, it is possible to obtain pure para hydrogen. This we had seen that at 0 Kelvin. We have pure para hydrogen. This is correct. If you look at C statement now, it is never possible to obtain pure para hydrogen. This is incorrect students at 0 Kelvin. As we had seen in the B option, we have 100% pure para hydrogen. If we talk about the D statement now, it is possible to obtain a sample containing more than 90%. So again, it was an experimental fact which is mentioned to us in the E option that we cannot have more than 75% ortho hydrogen at 300 Kelvin. So we have to select option A and option B as the correct answer to this question. Let us look at the next question now. Question number 33. H, D, T, O16, O18 and O17 are taken for the preparation of water. How many different water molecules can be prepared that are non-radioactive? So students, out of these given species, it is mentioned to us that only tritium is radioactive. So it cannot be used for the formation of a derivative of water. So we can have O16, we can have O17 and we can have O18. And we can have both the valency satisfied by HH. We can have one satisfied by H and one by D. Or we can have both by DD. So this similar calculation can be done for all three of them. So we can have HH, HD and DD. And similarly we are going to have HH, HD and DD. So we are going to have a total of nine different combinations. So there can be nine different type of water molecules which are non-radioactive. So students, for this question, we have to select option C as the correct answer. Let us look at the next paragraph. So in the next paragraph, we have been given a stepwise mechanism for the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction in which the electrophile attacks the benzene ring in the first step leading to the formation of an arenium ion. And in the second step, there is a loss of proton from the arenium ion to regain back the aromaticity of the benzene ring. So this mechanism is called as the electrophilic substitution reaction and it is characteristic reaction of aromatic compounds. So let us look at the questions which are given to us. In question number 34, we have to select the correct statements about the reactivity of the following compounds towards electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So in option A, the examiner is interested in the reactivity of naphthalene and benzene. So if we talk about naphthalene, naphthalene has two rings 
And if you talk about benzene, benzene has only one ring. Now, if we talk about the arenium ion, which is formed due to the attack of the electrophile. So, let us assume that the electrophile attacks at this position in naphthalene. So, we are going to have the formation of this carbocation. And we can see that this carbocation is stable. One of the rings is still aromatic in this case. Whereas, if we talk about the benzene, as soon as the electrophile attacks the ring, there is a loss in the aromaticity of the ring. So due to the stability of this complex, the sigma complex which is obtained after the attack of the electrophile, which is aromatic in this case, naphthalene will be more reactive than benzene. Let us talk about the B option now. It is given to us that pyridine is more reactive than benzene. This statement is incorrect students. The pyridine, it contains nitrogen as part of the ring. And this nitrogen often gets attacked by Lewis acids or H plus to form an ammonium ion. So this position is generally blocked and the positive charge on N causes it to exert a strong minus I effect on the ring. So pyridine is not more reactive than benzene. In fact, experimentally it is found out that the reactivity of pyridine is almost similar to nitrobenzene. Let us look at statement C now. Anisole is more reactive than benzene. This is correct students. Anisole has an OCH3 group attached to the benzene. And the lone pairs over oxygen make this benzene ring more activated towards the addition of the electrophile. So statement given in option C is correct. Let us talk about the statement given in option D now. Furan is more reactive than pyridine. This statement is correct students. Furan is in fact more reactive than benzene also. And we know that benzene is more reactive than pyridine. So this statement is correct. And for this question, we have to select the correct statements and we have to mark option A, C and D as the correct answer to this question. Let us look at the next question. If we talk about question number 35 now, benzene react with RBR in the presence of Lewis acid and this reaction is called as Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction. Select the reagent used in place of RBR which show a higher rate in this reaction if all other conditions are the same. So students, if we talk about the Friedel-Craft alkylation, we know that it employs the use of Lewis acids. Now this Lewis acids will get attacked by the lone pair of the halogen present and they'll try and extract the halogen from the alkyl group. As the size of the halogen increases, the strength of the bond formed between the Lewis acid and the halogen, it decreases. So if you talk about RF and RCl, so F and Cl shall be extracted faster than Br or I. So students, if we talk about the rate of reaction, RF and RCl are definitely going to have more rate of reaction than RBR in the Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction. So students, for this question, we have to select option A and option B as the correct answer. Let us look at the next section. 